But he did not choose an easy opponent for his first night back at the office. Kevin Blackwood, a man who has been on an unstoppable roll here in Prestige Wrestling against the likes of Kanosuke Takeshita and Penta El Zero Miedo, facing perhaps his biggest challenge to date. July 29th, 2016, Roderick Strong left independent wrestling. June 18th, 2023, he returns home. My goosebumps have goosebumps, Jack Farmer. This is truly what it's all about. This is what prestige is all about. Los Angeles and IWTV, the following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first, to my right, fighting out of Buffalo, New York, the aesthetic rappler, Kevin. And to my left, fighting out of Tampa, Florida, he is the Messiah of the Backbreaker, Roderick Strong! A hero's welcome for the return of the king. Independent wrestling means everything to Roderick Strong. And Roderick Strong means everything to independent wrestling. I could not have said it better myself. Roderick Strong, 
Look, if you took his resume and what he does and put it into an AI, if you took his hybrid wrestling style, combined his traditional, his high flying submission wrestling, his technical, versatile, dynamic wrestling style, it would spit out Roderick Strong. He is everything that this style of wrestling is. He is the embodiment of it. And to see him back here now, live at Black Sunshine, Jordan Castle, it is historic. We're gonna talk about Roderick Strong's style. We talked to Kevin Black a little bit earlier on tonight and he told us that early 2000s Ring of Honor, the style that Roderick Strong cut his teeth in is the style of professional wrestling that he models himself after. A huge test tonight for Blackwood against a man who in so many ways molded him into the wrestler we see today. This is one of those big moments for a guy like Kevin Blackwood. Not just because obviously this is a big match, but as you mentioned, this is everything he grew up watching, everything he grew up wanting to be. But let's not get it twisted. For as good as Roderick Strong is, this is a test for Roderick Strong as well. Kevin Blackwood is no pushover. This is not an easy return. This is going to be a battle for, oh, hold on here, for his life. Roderick Strong looking for that Boston Crab, that stronghold in the early going. But Kevin Blackwood very, very wisely making it to the ropes. Now, Jack, we, we talked to Kevin, excuse me, we talked to Roderick Strong a little bit earlier on tonight as well, and he said that you know, in his time away, in his time in the WWE, there was always some aspect of me that was missing, and that was this. My attachment to the Indies is something I'm always gonna wanna be a part of. You saw the tears streaming down the face of Roderick Strong. This is truly such an emotional night for the Messiah of the Backbreaker. I mean, this is something that, I mean, he's made career decisions so that he could put himself back into this situation here. This is what he wanted. This is where he likes to be. He was telling us that he looks at this kind of wrestling as the blue collar wrestling, the, the grind kind of wrestling that makes people great. This is what he wants to be a part of. And this is why he's here. And like I said, he's in there as he's just, Oh, what an incredible move. What do you even call that? Twisting Kevin Blackwood into a pretzel here. Got to be careful he doesn't get his own shoulders pinned down, though I believe they're under the ropes. Blackwood, only a few moments to break. Had to use his neck to get the rope break. That was all he had to be able to do it. Kevin Blackwood, though, I am impressed by how he is living up to this moment. He is not wilting. He is not backing away. And you know what? Maybe we should expect that when we see the kinds of people he's constantly putting himself in the ring with, whether it be Penta, whether it be Shigehiro, whether it be future matchups with guys like Malachi Black. I mean, Kevin Blackwood is truly forged in fire. Uh, but you got to think, because of the weight of tonight, because of the fact that this is Roderick Strong's first match back in independent wrestling in seven years, because of the fact that, that Kevin Blackwood models himself after not just Roderick Strong, but, but men like Red Dragon, cover here, men like Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, who Roderick Strong has associated with for the better part of a decade, that this match means that much more to the aesthetic crippler. I love that you mentioned those names because we look at where Roderick Strong has been. Think about how good he was when he went away from indie wrestling, but then look at who he's been associated with. The talent that he's been around, the people he's learned from, and also the people who have grown by working with him, and now he's back. How much better is Roderick Strong at this level than we could ever even imagine? Yeah, a undisputed dominance, a champion of tag teams, North Americans, cruiserweights alike, nine diamonds, he's done it all. And now Roderick Strong taking that experience, taking that wealth of knowledge he garnered and using it to reestablish himself. Strong said that in so many ways, it feels new again. It feels like the first day he scurried into the Ring of Honor locker room. That he's more nervous about this than he has been about anything since his reemergence in professional wrestling a couple months back. And Blackwood looking to make him nervous for a reason. Strong went for the jumping knee, ducked the kick from Blackwood. And Blackwood taken Strong down, went for the first double foot stun of the matchup, but Strong a little too quick for it. Yeah, I think Kevin Blackwood has watched a few Roderick Strong matches.
Well, and Strong probably no stranger to the stylings of Blackwood. His previous match before this was on AEW Dynamite against Daniel Garcia, a training partner of Kevin Blackwood, someone that Blackwood came up in the ranks of professional wrestling alongside. You can tell by that kick, you can tell by this offense. Kevin Blackwood definitely enjoyed watching Roderick Strong growing up, but there's nothing he would like more than to disappoint him on his return here to Prestige or to this kind of wrestling here at the Globe. There's nothing Kevin Blackwood would like more than to send him home sad tonight. And Roderick Strong telling us earlier on, it's exciting to see uh, if Kevin Blackwood's about that life, saying he's heard a lot about Kevin Blackwood, but you can never truly know the medal of a competitor until you're in the ring with him. And right now, folks, this is not a glorious dream. We are here live in living color. Roderick Strong is wrestling Kevin Blackwood at the Globe Theater. What a time to be alive. Kevin Blackwood is just going for broke with those strikes, but able to get past the flurry of offense, Roderick Strong. Double foot stomp from Kevin Blackwood. You know, Roderick Strong made a career out of being able to hit the backbreaker from any scenario, from any position. Kevin Blackwood has done exactly the same with that signature double foot stomp. Well, you mentioned that backbreaker. Roderick Strong hasn't been able to get any backbreakers in so far. I think that's a testament to just how talented Kevin Blackwood really is. I mean, Blackwood, again, a student of the game, a fan of Roderick Strong, someone who's molded himself after Strong. Uh, you got to think he knows that as soon as those backbreakers come into play, as soon as that knee meets the back, he's in a world of hurt. And now Blackwood into the cover, only a one count here. You know, when we were talking to Roderick Strong, one of the things that really stood out to me is he said when he was coming up, all the veterans wanted anyone who really wanted it to get better. And he said that he knows that Kevin Blackwood really wants it, but we're gonna see just how much he wants it tonight. And I gotta wonder if Roderick Strong's thinking right now, yeah, Kevin Blackwood really wants it. Cover here from Blackwood off those hammer and anvil elbows. Once again, barely a two count. I mean, Roderick Strong talked about names like Brian Danielson, CM Punk, Samoa Joe, James Gibson. Uh, these men who, who fostered him and made him the professional wrestler we know today. Roderick Strong, I won't call it passing of the torch because Strong, as good as he's been, cover here from Blackwood, but Strong no doubt making sure the future is bright and doing so in a very painful way for Kevin Blackwood, who admittedly in firm control of the Messiah right now. Kevin Blackwood, he's grizzled, he's tough, he does not give up. You look at some of the things that he's had to overcome in his personal life to get back into the ring, things that would stop most other wrestlers, but he was able to come back from those things and get into the ring and compete at such a high level. And now in the ring with Roderick Strong, he looks as good as he's ever looked. Neither of these guys pulling their punches. Huge shot there from Blackwood into a T-bone suplex. Blackwood just has that high impact style from the strikes to those suplexes. Absolutely no wasted motion from Kevin Blackwood. No, he, he can't be looking for the double foot stump here. Roderick Strong on the apron. And this is gonna end it. Oh, Nobody home, Roderick Strong. Almost a sick kick variation there on the apron. And what? Oh, dumping Blackwood back first, perhaps softening him up for those aforementioned backbreakers, Farmer. I was gonna say, you don't call that a backbreaker, but I got a feeling it's a bit of a backbreaker. Yeah, Blackwood's probably feeling pretty broken right about now. <laughs> Blackwood would probably call that a backbreaker. Strong's got some dangerous knees, but I think those aprons. Watch it again here. Oh, just dropping him down, hitting the lower end of the back there first, it looked like. But despite that, Kevin Blackwood back on his feet. Roderick Strong doesn't want to win this thing by a counter. He wants to win it by pinball. He wants to win it by submission. And here and we go. The first backbreaker of the contest. History made. The first domino has fallen. And the brilliance of working the back. Look, it's a thick body part. It's the thickest body part, really. A lot of times when guys like to work limbs, they like to work the arms, the legs, but. Second from Strong second here. Backbreaker. But think about it, everything you do in that ring requires Strong a back. Strong looking to finish it. 
Only a two count from Blackwood. You're absolutely right, Jack. And not only that, fans at home, feel your knee. Ma massage the bone there. That is one of the hardest, most unforgiving bones in the body. So not only is it crucial to destroy the back if you're Roderick Strong, but there is no better part of the body to do it. And look at, see, that's that veteran awareness. Taking little moments, just those hitting the chest, grabbing at the face, squeezing the nose, smothering him a little bit, driving the wrist into the face. These are all just little details that add a little bit more. It's almost like a Major League Baseball pitcher using his fingers to add just a little bit more velocity on the ball. That is the incredible talent of a Roderick Strong. Blackwood able to fight his way out on spaghetti legs here. Grabs the foot of Strong into an Enziguri kick. Strong is staggered here. Blackwood has to take advantage. It's not often you have Roderick Strong down. Yeah, you're not going to get this opportunity many times. Oh, goes for the boot, but Strong caught him. It. A backbreaker hat trick. Look at, we get a pin. Yeah, this one could be over the leg hooked. No. As you see, Kevin Blackwood grasping at the lower back. The work is being done. It's starting to take shape and just pulling back on the face. Let's watch it again. Absolutely gnarly there from Roderick Strong. And immediately, that knee lodged back into the back as he has the submission. But Kevin Blackwood biting at the fingers of Roderick Strong. Talk about, uh, That's talk about, uh, talk about, uh, you, you call Kevin Blackwood scrappy. I call that desperation. I call that he knew that if he didn't do something, oh! I don't think he's proud of that move, but I think he knows it was that or tap. Blackwood certainly doesn't want to do the latter, and I think Roderick Strong making him pay for it with repeated chops to the chest. And Blackwood asking for it, this sicko. He's imploring Roderick Strong, saying, thank you, sir. May I have another? And Strong, more than happy to oblige. I think Blackwood's trying to say, look, I know you've been in the ring with some of the biggest wrestlers in the world. You've been on some of the biggest programs in the world. But guess what? I can take every single thing you can dish out. Roderick Strong dishing out a back suplex there. You see the pain etched across a Blackwood's face telling the story. Cover, but only a two count. Going for the cover once again. R Roderick maybe getting a little frustrated here, Jack. Yeah, I think he's getting more fight out of Blackwood than he expected. I mean, hey, you certainly can't blame him. Blackwood is tenacious, Blackwood hits hard, but not only that, Blackwood is resilient. Blackwood knows how to keep the fight going even when his body is screaming. And again, focusing the attack on the fingers of Strong. First he was biting, now he is bending. Again, I talk about it, it's desperation. It's not something that I'm sure was the first thing that Blackwood wanted to do, but sometimes you have to ask yourself, do I want to play it straight or do I want to win? And yeah. I think he wants to win. Shotgun drop kick there. I thought maybe going for that double foot stomp, Roderick Strong a little too far away for Blackwood to connect. But the aesthetic crippler, always one to adapt, always one to think on his feet, and he has Strong down, Jack but he can't follow up because of the work done to the back. It's that brilliant maneuvering of Roderick Strong. That's why he's such a gifted tactician. He knows that this is gonna be the case. He bought himself time to get up and recover earlier in the match. It was like an investment he made that's now paying dividends. Roderick Strong with Kevin Blackwood hung up on the ropes. Shots back and forth, one after the other. This is classic Roderick Strong. Deposits him face first. I thought he was going for another backbreaker, but just as effective, hooks the leg. Only a two. The cardio of Roderick Strong, still there, still has it, still able to go. Well, listen, Roderick Strong has essentially spent the last calendar year training for this exact moment. He has not had the rigorous schedule that Kevin Blackwood has as we take another look. He has been laser focused on tonight. You might call that tunnel vision, but for Roderick Strong, I think it's made him the best version of the Messiah of the Backbreaker that we've ever seen. Well, he said earlier tonight, he said this is a test for Kevin Blackwood, but honestly, it's a test for himself. Yeah, I mean, you, usually in a match like this with Kevin Blackwood versus a top star from television, uh, t take nothing away, but I mean, it has to be a much bigger match for Kevin Blackwood than it is for a Kanosuke Takeshita or a Penta El Zero Miedo. Tonight, I'm not sure that's the story. 
Right, well, you know, we talked about desperation earlier, about biting and, and going at fingers. You saw just a second ago, Roderick stamping on the hand of Kevin Blackwood. I think he's getting into a little bit of the desperation waters himself. Well, Roderick Strong saying, Blackwood, if you're gonna fight dirty, I'm gonna be right there with you, but those educated feast feet of Blackwood being put to good use. Look how quick Roderick Strong is up and put right back down. And Kevin Blackwood is angry right now, and he is sick and tired of his back being worn down the way it has been. I think after the damage... German suplex! The, after the damage that's been done, he's no longer looking at a guy that he once looked up to. He's looking at a guy he just wants to beat the tar out of for breaking his back. Huge kick there from Kevin Blackwood. And Blackwood is all sorts of fired up. Oh, man. Kick right to the face, into the cover. Still not enough. And Blackwood did everything he could to get that cover. He covered the hands. He leaned his entire body on there. And you're looking at the face of Blackwood. He knows he has a chance. This is actually a moment. Look at those two oh, man. feet right to the face. I don't care how many shows you've been on. That hurts. Yeah, it's strongly lucky that he lose a tooth off of this. And Blackwood maybe looking for that signature cloverleaf. We've seen it put away many an opponent. Trying to neutralize the legs of Strong. And Blackwood, like I said, I think you're seeing on his face. I think he's seeing Strong it. makes to the ropes. I think you're seeing Blackwood realize that he might have a shot here. He might be able to make this upset. This might be happening. We might see one of the biggest upsets we've seen. Well, if you're Kevin Blackwood, despite the pressure, despite the pedigree of Strong, you have to go into this matchup not thinking, but knowing that you can. And if you're Kevin Blackwood, will defeat Roderick Strong. What, oh. it, what does it mean for the future of Kevin Blackwood is if he's able to deter a Roderick Strong? And what does it mean to Roderick Strong in his return if he walks away with a loss? Think about just how heavy the implications are in this matchup. We have to think immediate championship contention for the prestige wrestling world title as Strong muscles Blackwood up in the fireman's carry. Blackwood with one of his own, depositing Strong down. Hooks that leg, only a two. Oh, that was, that was close, Jordan Castle. And you know, you saw him try to get Roderick Strong up the first time for the fireman's carry, not able to do it because of the damage of the back, but Kevin Blackwood fought through that pain and willed his body beyond its breaking point to get it. Hold on, Jack. Kevin Blackwood is scaling to the top. I think he's looking for that double foot stomp, but Roderick Strong up to his feet, saw it coming and crotched Blackwood on that top turnbuckle. And now we're gonna see Roderick Strong try to do something very, very dangerous. Not, not just for Kevin Blackwood, but for him as well. To scale the top rope at this juncture in the matchup, uh, we're, we're both of these guys and put through so much, and put each other through so much. It's a very, very big risk. Yeah, this is, when you go to the top rope, ro top rope you're looking for something big. Avalanche backbreaker! You want to talk about Big Jack? I think that more than fits the bill. Well, I was just going to say, I think Kevin Blackwood, the only fortunate thing about that is he didn't Will roll right in. Will it be right enough in. to put Blackwood away? And indeed, you're absolutely right. Roderick Strong unable to capitalize immediately, and it cost him. It's Kevin Blackwood, I don't know if he's, if he's fully here. I don't know if he's fully conscious, getting helped up. Yeah, I mean, I mean by this, Roderick. This has got to be academic at this point. After that, uh, the elevation, the impact. Look, Kevin Blackwood is not going down. Kevin Blackwood will not Whoa! allow himself to be defeated. And out of nowhere, that high impact kick. Perhaps finding a second win, but Roderick Strong with the Olympic slam, and he's not done rolling out. Butterflies the arms, spikes Blackwood down into the cover. No! Kevin wow. Blackwood kicked out. Our referee's hand was only the thickness of a shadow away from hitting the three. I really thought that Tiger Bomb was it. I really thought as we take another look. Oh, man. Somehow Blackwood kicking out the signature Tiger Bomb from Roderick Strong. The technique of a Roderick Strong is simply unparalleled. Everything he does is executed to perfection. And Blackwood, maybe about to get muscled up into that end of heartache. Roderick Strong, suplex positioning, but Blackwood knows he cannot afford that. Ooh. 
Blackwood, hey. huge chop to the chest. Those chops changing the direction of this match. What does Blackwood have ready? Again. Waiting for Roderick to make the move. Feet across the face. Both men had the same idea. Warriors colliding here. Neither man giving an inch. And Jordan Castle, as both these men are out on their feet in the 10 count, starts. This is the make or break point of the match for both of these men. Who can bounce back faster? There is truly nobody doing it like Prestige Wrestling. Somehow, someway, Roderick Strong and Kevin Blackwood able to make their way back up to the ring, using each other for <laughs> leverage. Oh, and wow. This thing is just breaking down. Oh, no, he did Kevin Blackwood caught him out of nowhere. Huge bicycle kick in the corner. And Blackwood, this is your moment, seize it! Double foot stomp from the top, this has gotta be it! Kevin Blackwood is gonna beat Roderick Strong, no! I don't know where the hell Roderick Strong is finding it tonight, Jack, but he is operating on another level entirely, kicking out of the double foot stomp, and Blackwood immediately transitioning back into that Cloverfield, finally getting it, and Roderick is a world away from the bottom rope. Roderick having to get on his elbows to fight to those ropes, but it's applying more pressure, and now driving Roderick's face into the mat. Yeah, Blackwood using that knee to good use. Strong would often do the same with his stronghold but it's the boot to the face that gets Blackwood off the strong for the moment. Rolls through, you mentioned the stronghold. And indeed, Roderick looking to lock it in, but not until he is in the absolute center of the ring. That perfectionist mindset might have cost him. Or it saved No! Him. Oh, cover here, Blackwood looking to steal it. No! Yeah, Roderick Strong very wisely rolling to the middle of the ring, jumping knee, looking to get that stronghold in. Out of nowhere. End of heartache. Roderick Strong victorious. Yo, winner, Roderick Strong. Guess who's back? Back again. Roddy's back. Tell a friend. Huge jumping knee into the end of heartache. Roderick Strong proving that he still belongs, proving that he still lives and breathes independent professional wrestling. Roderick Strong said this was a test for Kevin Blackwood, said it was a test for himself. I think it's easy to say both of these guys passed. Both of them really showed what Prestige Wrestling's all about. Roderick Strong, welcome home.